This is a long-term project I've been working on uh, for a buddy of mine. It's a full custom tube chassis C10 truck. It's powered by a Subaru drivetrain, all-wheel drive. Uh, once it's all done, we're gonna have a carbon bed, carbon front clip, uh, huge aero package on this thing. It's gonna be kind of a Hoonigan style time attack truck, Subaru powered. So I've got a little bit more of a tube work to do on this thing. We're gonna bust out the Power MTS 141SI, set it up on high frequency TIG, 120 volt, 20 amp circuit. Uh, with our optional MTS pedal, we're gonna do some tube work today. So you can see here, we're on our pedal slash spool. Um, so we wanna make sure that we're on the right remote. We've got it set up on our TIG, high frequency, because we're not doing lift or live lift. We're maxed out at 140 amps. And we've got our pre-flow and post-flow set to auto. So super basic machine, great for out in the field. Today we're using it in the shop to do some chassis stuff. Three. Two, one, zero. My arms are so sore. All right, so now we've ran quite a few joints around this truck, kind of showed you guys some different positions, real awkward stuff. And that's one thing that comes up a lot, like how do you position yourself for really out of position welds? And working on a chassis or something like this, a roll cage, will put you in a lot of positions that you're not used to. Um, especially I'm not exactly the, the smallest guy ever, so some of these where you're really trying to get down here upside down, you know, you don't have a way you can run a foot pedal or even, you know, I'm, I wanna be as wide as possible to get down. I don't have any way to, to run the foot pedal even using the thigh master technique. So that's where it's setting up our standard little on off uh, finger switch. You can set it up 2T, 4T, you know, just set up to where on straight amperage or some of the more advanced machines you can set pulse. This one, the 141 SI doesn't have pulse, but you can set up to be on off and you can get down in these real weird positions, get your hands comfortable, hit the trigger, and then work it around the tube. You know, some of these where you're really upside down, you've gotta have your feet up in the air, your head, you know, tucked right, your toes crossed, just so you can get into it. So that's where having that little finger switch comes in real handy. The thing you wanna think about too is where you're going. So I'll kinda of get in a position and I won't hit the trigger, but I'll kind of do a dry run, make sure that I'm not gonna run my hand into another hot tube, or I've got you know good position. I can get more than two or three dabs before I have to reset my hand. So I'm always kind of going around, and the nice thing too is the, the finger switch will rotate around the torch handle. So one area, it might be nice for me to run it you know, like this, and then as I come over the top, that's not real handy. I'll flip it around. Now I've got a real nice control, real nice hand position. So you're always trying to position your body to be comfortable, your hands to be comfortable, and make sure you're running to an area. You wanna run from being uncomfortable to comfortable, not running from comfortable to uncomfortable. It makes the weld a lot easier if you're working towards being more comfy in the position. So always kind of think about that when you're doing something out of position like this. Another thought too, guys, I'm a little bit bigger of a dude. I'm working on that right now, but sometimes you're in these real tight positions where you're, you're crunched up and you're trying to breathe like this. So sometimes I'll kind of oh, relax, give me a couple good deep breaths, <sighs> breathe in, and then I'll kind of crunch in and I'll try to get, you know, 10, 15 dabs in, whatever I can get, running around a tube when I'm real scrunched up. So another thing to think about too, because sometimes you'll get in those positions and you're sitting there, uh, uh, you, know, trying, you know, trying to breathe, but you can't really get one in. So your, your arms are moving all over the place. That's when you start getting the, the wiggles because you're trying to breathe, you're trying to hold yourself tight. So like I said, always think about starting uncomfortable and working towards being comfortable. All right, so we're wrapping up with this chassis work today. In a previous video, we had shown this thing running a spool gun. 
sub thousand dollar combo doing some really <laughs> some really nasty aluminum work um, but it did it and today same machine doing some real fine precision TIG work on this chassis so if you guys are looking for you know a handy little machine to have like on a work truck a service truck around the farm I mean this thing will do it 141 SI we ran that spool gun on a 120 volt 20 amp breaker never pop the breaker running 140 amps output on a 120 volt 20 amp breaker you know we welded up 10 15 tubes today never pop the breaker so really powerful really handy little machine power mts 141 si check it out i'm jesse mccollum weld mean weld green